Okay, we're going to try this again. I really don't know what happened. Maybe I need to just start, have my phone mounted before I hit live. So, starting again, I'm going to wait for everyone to come back on. While I'm waiting, I'm going to get my stuff ready. I really don't know what happened. Hi again, Teresa and everyone. I really don't know what happened. So we're going to do a double take and try again. So with Chalk Couture, we have ink. And what the ink does, it makes it to where you can put a Chalk Couture transfer on glass or fabric, uh, mirrors on anything where you want it to stay, t-shirts, pillowcases, pillows, and that way you can make things that are permanent. So I was going to show you guys a quick design on this coffee mug. I might do two designs just to show you how they look. So what I had in mind was, since it's a coffee mug, I was going to do Happy Camper. So I just got my happy camper and you always want to defuzz your transfer if you've never used it. Um, I just, I have a habit of defuzzing everything. Now I only have one color of ink, so I'm fixing to get more inks, but you just take your transfer, put it on your surface here. You want to make sure you get rid of all those air bubbles. See how I have all the air bubbles out? Now the only color of ink I have right now until I get more is this grayish. It's called taupe. Top. So I'm just going to open it up. Now this is a little stickier. Hey Amy, I don't know if anyone's watching. I think my phone's messing up. So But all you do, so I'm just getting my little squeegee, dipping it into my ink. Now the ink is a little thicker, but it's the same concept as with the chalk. Sorry about the baby. She's not feeling too good today. So what you do, you just put your ink on top of your transfer. Then you want to make sure you have none on your hands. Let's go from bottom to top. And there is my mug that says Happy Camper. Now, there is another step to this. No, it is not permanent right now. Now, like the chalk, it dries instantly. With the ink on glass, it needs to sit for 24 hours to dry. Now, after the 24 hours, you would then put it into an oven, and I can post directions later. Again, if you join my VIP group, I have all that in there, but look at that. So that way, whenever you're going camping this year, you can make your own mugs. And this is just an example. This is just with one color. So I usually set them aside, and then I'll usually get a blow dryer to kind of make it not as tacky. And then in 24 hours, I would properly seal it. Now, for this plate, I really don't know what to put on it. <laughs> Um, but I was thinking about doing the established and then putting 2019. So here's the 
they get established. Now again, I only have one ink color for now. I just was trying to get a good supply of my chalk paste. That's why I haven't bought any more inks just yet. So see how I have my transfer on there? Got my transfer on my plate. And you want to make sure there's no air bubbles. And on the glass, especially curved, it's kind of hard. But with a little patience, you will get it all out. So I'm going to do this. Again, I, I'm stuck with my one color of ink. So I'm just getting a generous amount. I'm going all around this. But these would make really neat wedding gifts, baby shower gifts. Um, I think wedding gifts on the plates with the ink because you can go if you know someone getting married you can go and make them their own custom plates and everything instead of having to go and order it and all that but you can go and make it your own for your friends if I knew someone getting married I would give this to them and, of course, if I knew someone getting married, I would get a whole set, not just one plate. But I would not put established on every single piece. But if my friend liked chickens, I would try to do chickens on a lot of things. Um, like Amanda Tucker, she likes cows. I would make her her own dishware with cows and her own colors that she likes. So, you got this on. I that down so I can peel it off, guys. We'll try and get us starting. So, see how. See how it looks on there? I think the gray looks really good on this blue. And then it's just like anything else, you just stick your transfer in water. Now, on this one, whenever I peeled it off, it did get on the edge right there. So, I'm just going to wipe it off real fast. And that's what's good about the ink. You can go and wipe up your mistakes before you cure it in your oven. So, here's that right now. This would probably look really good with white or to do it and then do another layer on top. But I'm stuck with the one color until I get more colors. So my numbers established in 2019. Yes, they can't eat off these places. I think though, Teresa, they have food grade poly that you can um, put on them, I think. Not for sure. That's something I'll have to look up. Therese, or, uh, Teresa, she is another chalk couture designer. She lives in Alabama, I think. I used to live in Alabama. I don't think she knows that. I used to live in Ozark, Alabama, right by Dothan. I thought it was called Dolphin, and they said, no, it's called Dothan. So I just lined up my 2019. I was going to chuck the 2019. I really like inking and I need to get more colors. 
I'm just excited for all the new stencils coming out. So very easily peel them off. Hey, Angela. We're inking a plate, and I just got done inking a mug. to show how you can ink. So I am done with the plate. So here's the plate I just did. Can you guys see that? Again, I just bought this plate at Dollar Tree for a dollar and you can get any color plates. I bought this color plate because I only have one color of ink and I figured it would go good and in person it does look really really good so here's my plate and here is my mug to show you guys my happy camper mug again I only got the one color but I think they came out great I can't wait to get more colors yes Angela she just signed up and so she is now a designer also so Angela's probably gonna start inking a lot of things but that's what I got for today. Just wanted to come and do a really quick video for you guys to show you that there's more than just chalkboards for chalk couture. So you guys, I, that's all I got today. I will talk to you all later and you guys have a great day. Great Monday. Bye guys.